Good evening. I'm Jeff Wright, Dean of the School of Music, Theater, and Dance at Anderson University. And it's my pleasure this evening to welcome you to Evening of Excellence for 2020. Well, this isn't exactly what we had in mind when we first planned this event, but we ran into a little bit of an obstacle this spring. And as you know, in the performing arts, an obstacle is often a pathway to creativity. So this is our creative response to social distancing. Tonight, we hope to accomplish two things. First of all, we wanna celebrate our community. Even though we are physically distant tonight, we are still a powerful community of performing artists. We are still AU. And the second thing we hope to do tonight is to celebrate all the accomplishments of our students. So many of you have risen to the occasion when you've encountered your own obstacles and challenges. And you've risen above those challenges and you've grown beautifully through that. So tonight we want to say to you, congratulations and well done. We're so very proud of you. So tonight we're going to hear performances in music, we'll see performances in dance, and we will give some awards and recognitions, all as a way of saying, we're proud of you students, and it's our pleasure and honor to work with you. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you enjoy Evening of Excellence. I'm Dr. Rick Sowers, coordinator of the orchestra for this year's Concerto Aria portion of Evening of Excellence. Each year we hold auditions for student solos to perform with orchestra. This year, two singers were chosen, Tim Blaisdell and Hannah Knopp. Tim is a senior from Lafayette, Indiana, majoring in music composition and studies voice with Dr. Rick Sowers. He will sing The Roadside Fire from Songs of Travel by Rafe Von Williams and Il Acerato Spirito from Simon Bocanegra by Verdi. Hannah is a sophomore from Plainfield, Indiana, majoring in voice performance and studies with Dr. Fritz Robertson. Hannah will sing Por Jamor from Le Nozze di Figaro by Mozart and Se Come Voi from Le Vili by Puccini. We will now hear Tim Blaisdell. I will make you brooches and toys for your delight of birds song at morning and stars shine at night. I will make a palace fit for you and me of green days in forest and
cielo valsi Hello, my name is Adam Waller, Director of Bands at Anderson University. This evening, I will be recognizing two outstanding instrumentalists in the School of Music. Our outstanding instrumentalists are selected to be recognized due to their high level of musical artistry, contribution to university ensembles, as well as their solo and chamber music performances. For our first award, we would like to extend a letter of continuing merit to oboist Angela Shaver and wish her the best of luck as she begins graduate studies in oboe performance at Cincinnati Conservatory this fall. Our second award is a continuing letter of merit to violist Rachel Horning. We extend our gratitude for her contributions at AU and wish her the best as she begins her career as a secondary orchestra teacher this fall. Congratulations to both students. Hello, I'm Fritz Robertson, professor of voice and lyric theater and I'm honored to present some very special awards this evening. First, for excellence in vocal performance, we are pleased to present a letter of continuing merit to Claire Lilly. Claire is a senior voice performance major from Naperville, Illinois. And during her years here at AU, she has been featured in seven operas and musicals, has been a loyal member of the AU Chorale, and has been a soloist with the Anderson Symphony. This fall, she'll be pursuing graduate studies as a member of the prestigious Opera Institute at the University of Maryland in College Park. The Garth Epley and Zachary Novak Memorial Scholarships are named for two of our most beloved, dedicated, and gifted graduates. Though they were two very different human beings, they shared a consuming passion for music and the pursuit of excellence in all they undertook. The Garth Epley Scholar for next year is Ben Elliott. Ben is a sophomore musical theater major from Noblesville, Indiana. In his two short years here, he has appeared in two plays, two musicals, and two operas, and he is a passionate member of the AU Chorale. The Zachary Novak Scholar for next year is Hannah Knopp. Hannah is a sophomore voice performance major from Plainfield, Indiana. She is a loyal member of the AU Chorale and has performed on the Byram stage in the demanding title role of our February opera production, The Medium. 
She has also appeared in the Anderson Main Stage Theater as Lucy in Jekyll and Hyde, and you will be hearing her sing this evening. So, congratulations, Claire, Ben, and Hannah. Hi, my name is David Coolidge. I'm the director of musical theater and theater at Anderson University, and I have the privilege tonight of announcing our awards in excellence for both musical theater and theater. Tonight in musical theater, we'd like to offer letters of continuing merit to two individuals who received the award last year, Julie Biaggi and Connor Thompson. You will have seen Julie's great work on stage at AU in The Marvelous Wonderettes, Tennessee Playboy, and she played the leading role in Violet. She's also an active participant in Women's Chorus. Last summer, she was in the Swell Tones at Cedar Point uh, America's Roller Coast and has asked, been asked for a six-month contract post-graduation at Six Flags St. Louis. Connor Thompson has been an active participant in both chorale and symphonic choir. We'll have seen him on stage in Doubt, The Marriage of Figaro, and Violet, and several other shows as well. He has worked professionally in the summers at Trumpet in the Land, the Red Barn Theater, and he has been offered a contract this summer at the Mercury Theater. Our awards this year in excellence for musical theater go to two seniors. Mackenzie Folks and Isabel Yost. Mackenzie has been an active participant in The Crown. You will have seen her on stage in The Marvelous Wonderettes, The Diviners, and her great work this year in And the World Goes Round. Last summer at Kings Island, she was a part of their main stage show, Off the Charts, and she's been asked back post-graduation at Kings Island through the end of the year. Isabel Yost has been an active participant in Women's Chorus. You would have seen her on stage in The Marvelous Wonderettes, The Marriage of Figaro, and again this year in And the World Goes Round. She worked last summer professionally at the Children's Theater of Indianapolis and has been asked back again this summer for a second contract. Both of these young ladies also gave incredible um, recitals this past year. And in theater, we are offering this year's uh, award in excellence to Wayne Collins. Wayne has been an active participant across the board in the School of Music, Theater, and Dance. He's been an active participant in Corral. You've seen him on stage in The Marriage of Figaro, and you have, have seen his work backstage uh, on The Light Crew in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, and you've probably enjoyed his sound design for Boeing, Boeing, The Diviners, and Doubt. I want to say how proud we are of all of our majors in theater and musical theater. Not only the great talent that they have and, um, and the work that they're doing outside of the university and on the university stage, but also for the good human beings that they are and their passion to have a positive impact on the future of the entertainment industry. I wish this class all the best and I hope you enjoy the remainder of this evening. I'm Becky Chappell, Director of Music Business Studies, and tonight it's my pleasure to recognize the winners of the NAM Scholarship and announce the award for Outstanding Music Business Student. The NAM President's Innovation Award honors music students with a 3.0 GPA or higher who demonstrate excellence in music and who are interested in pursuing a career in the music industry. Recipients receive a cash award that goes towards helping them travel to the NAM show, the Global Music Products Trade Show in Anaheim, California. Two music students had the honor of receiving the award and attending the NAM show last January. They are Chandler Mudd and Colby Dennis. Chandler and Colby, I'm just glad that you were in California in January and not in March. The next award is Outstanding Music Business Student, and this award goes to Abigail Stamper. Abigail came to AU as a junior transfer student and over the past two years has made a tremendous contribution to the music business program at Anderson University. Her incredible talent, creative marketing ideas, and passion for helping other independent artists has been inspiring to all of us. So congratulations, Abigail. I have no doubt you're gonna kill it out there in the music industry. Good evening. 
My name is Caroline Ann. I coordinate the composition program at Anderson University. It is my great pleasure this evening to announce two awards in the composition area. The first award is called Composition Scholarship Award. This award usually goes to a sophomore student who is academically very strong and shows a great potential as a composer. This year, this award goes to Rachel Morris. Congratulations, Rachel. I'm so excited for you. The second award is our Composition Competition Award. Each year, AU holds a composition competition among composition students. The winner this year was our senior student, Tim Blaisdell. Congratulations, Tim. I'm so very happy for you. You are an amazing composer. Tim wrote a song cycle called Songs of the Late Night Pondering. It is time for us to listen to his piece. We'll be presenting two movements from his song cycle. Piano will be played by Miss Rebecca Edi, and the baritone will be played by one of our students, Ben Elliott. I hope you enjoy the performance. Thank you so much again, and have a great evening.
Perhaps that's why the two aren't one. For night the moon, for day the sun. So that it matters not the hour. There will always be a power that shuns the hunter in the night and always holds the world in. Good evening. I'm Christine Colquitt Thacker, Assistant Professor of Dance here at Anderson University, and I have the honor of recognizing several outstanding dancers tonight. Now, all of our students demonstrate true dedication and perseverance and are excellent young adults, and we, the faculty uh, in the dance department, feel so honored and proud to be able to work with every single one of you. Tonight, we'd like to start our formal recognition with uh, academic achievement. This is an award that goes out to the dance major with the highest GPA and also affords them Alpha Chi recognition. This particular student exemplifies academic excellence and leadership both on and off the dance floor. This evening, we would like to recognize for highest GPA academic excellence and Alpha Chi recognition to the student who really earned it, <laughs> Ms. Taylor Brooks. Congratulations, Taylor. And we are also recognizing excellence in overall dance performance. This award goes to a student who excels at fusing passion, precision, and performance quality not just into their work on stage, but also into their daily technique class consistently and excellently. This is recognition for those students who really embody what it means to be a quality performer. Tonight, we give letters of continuing merit in dance performance to Mr. Adrian Dominguez and Ms. Ava So. Congratulations, Adrian and Ava. This year's Excellence in Dance Composition goes to a student who has consistently provided excellent work during her time at Anderson University. This student can create within all of the dance technique forms. She is versatile and creative and can compose touching and powerful pieces for a single dancer to multiple dancers and groups. We look forward to watching to what the future has to hold for her. And tonight we give excellence in dance composition to Ms. Caitlin Hill. Congratulations, Caitlin. Now we also want to recognize excellence in dance pedagogy. And we're fortunate to have several truly, truly talented future dance educators working and training with uh, dance at Anderson University. Um, We'd like to recognize all of them. Tonight, we are going to take a look at a student who is really excellent at incorporating the study of technique, the installation of dance appreciation and love, dance entrepreneurship, leadership, compassion, and care into her students and her work. Dance pedagogy is so much more than biomechanics and teaching steps and this student exemplifies in that. Tonight, we give recognition for excellence in dance pedagogy to Ms. Rachel Miller. Congratulations, Rachel. We are so proud of all of our students and we wanna congratulate each of you because you are all high achievers and excellent young dancers and adults with a beautiful future ahead of you. Now, I'm going to pass it on to my colleague, Professor Rachel Stone King, and we'll continue with some of the dance awards. Congratulations, dancers. 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Professor Stone King, and tonight it is my pleasure to announce to you the names of a few of our students who have excelled in the techniques that we study here at Anderson. Each of these students have shown tremendous growth, uh, inspire others with their joy when they perform, and uh, are overall just really wonderful students. So without further ado, our first award is in excellence in ballet and goes to a student who, whose passion for ballet shines through and she's just a joy to watch. Her name is Kaylee Meeks. Good job, Kaylee. Our second award is for excellence in modern and this student over her four years here at Anderson has shown tremendous growth, not only in her technique, but in her work ethic and her leadership. And that award goes to Miss Ava So. Way to go, Ava. Our next award goes to a student with tons of spunk and tons of potential. This award is for excellence in jazz and goes to Miss Callie Lee. Way to go, girl. Finally, the award for excellence in tap. Now for this award, the dance faculty had a little bit of a difficult time narrowing down who should receive the award, especially because we have two students who are quite the dynamic duo. So we chose to give the award to both Miss Madison Moore and Ashley Yackley. Good job, ladies. Hello, I'm Dr. Joni Sompi Brandon. I'll be announcing the awards for music education. This year, our, we're giving a continuing merit award to Amelia Freeman, who won the award last year. We are also giving the award to two of our music ed majors, Katie Fultz and Michaela Sharman. Both have accepted teaching positions already and did a really fine job in student teaching. Katie will be teaching high school choir next year and Michaela will be working in a K, K through eight ORF program. This class of 2019-20 in music ed was outstanding. We are proud of each one and what they'll do as teachers in the future. Thank you. Hello, I am Dr. Jonathan Brooks. I am a professor of music, primarily teaching music theory. I am presenting a letter of continuing merit in music theory to Jacob Cups. Jacob Cups did an independent study with me in the fall of 2019 where he looked at the philosophers Wittgenstein and Schopenhauer with respect to the opera Moses and Aaron by Arnold Schoenberg. In addition to this award, I'm also presenting a special faculty award of excellence on behalf of the entire AU Music faculty. The recipient of this award is also Jacob Cups. Jacob Cups, in addition to being a fine music theory and music history student, has also taken composition lessons performed a voice recital, been a recording tech, been a tutor in Ford Music Theory, and also helped to run and perform in encore presentations for the entire campus at large. Congratulations, Jacobs. Best of luck on your future academic pursuits. Good evening. My name is Christopher Holmes, and I am on faculty here for Music History and Literature at Anderson University. It is my pleasure tonight to award two students in music history. The first is for a letter of continuing merit, which goes to Jacob Cups. Jacob was awarded the Outstanding Student in Music History last year, and his work has continued to be superb. Congratulations, Jacob. The second award is for Excellence in Music History for this year, and this award goes to Colby Dennis. Colby has done outstanding work in the area of music history, and I am pleased to be able to honor him with this reward. Congratulations, Colby. I will miss both Jacob and Colby, and I look forward to seeing what they do in the future and the successes that they achieve. And now we'll hear Hannah Knott perform Mozart and Puccini.
Christopher Holmes, and I have the pleasure to recognize several students for additional awards this evening. The first is our Presser Scholar for the upcoming year. The Presser Foundation was established in 1939 and supports various activities in music, and we are honored to have the ability to award a scholarship to one of our students. Our Presser Scholar for the 2021 academic year is Bobby Baranek. Congratulations, Bobby. Elsie Perdue is a local supporter of the arts, and she has generously set forth funds to underwrite our Evening of Excellence. 
She has also established a scholarship to support one of our outstanding students. And our Purdue Scholar for the 2021 academic year is Isaac Stultz. Congratulations, Isaac. It is also my pleasure to honor our students who are to be inducted into Pi Kappa Lambda, Lambda our Music Honor Society. All of our music faculty are members, and we inducted two students last year who are currently seniors, Mackenzie Folks and Angela Shaver. This year, we induct two juniors and three seniors. Our juniors are Bobby Baronic and Brittany Davis, and our seniors are Katie Fultz, Rachel Horning, and Brenna Green. Congratulations to you all on this honor. We also have four students to receive departmental honors at commencement. This award acknowledges the outstanding work these students have achieved during their time at Anderson University. They are Taylor Brooks, Mackenzie Folks, Rachel Horning, and Angela Shaver. Congratulations to you all on your hard work. Hi, I'm John Pistol, president of Anderson University, and Dr. Wright, uh, on behalf of all the faculty and staff, and actually the students, and that great cloud of witnesses who went before you, our alum, and all of our donors, and the great faculty and staff here at the School of Music, Theater, and Dance, I want to congratulate you on your 25 years of service, for your dedication to excellence and to integrity in helping students learn what it means to lead transformed lives. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Marie Morris, and I have the pleasure of serving as provost at Anderson University with all these wonderful faculty and the pleasure of working with Dr. Wright. Uh, Dr. Wright, I am so thrilled with the vision that you have had for the School of Music, Theater, and Dance uh, for championing the arts. Uh, we need them more now than ever um, in this time, and 25 years of uh, reaching into people's souls and um, informing the minds and the hearts. Uh, thank you so much. Um, we congratulate you. Congratulations, Congratulations Dr. Wright. Wright. Hello, my name is Eric Yetter, and I'm an assistant professor of dance here at Anderson University. It's my pleasure to announce this year's winner of the Shea Harris Scholarship Award. Shea Harris was a young woman who uh, danced here several years ago and was a bright light to this community. She had a spirit of love and brought joy to all that she came in contact with. Unfortunately, in her junior year, she was tragically killed in an airplane accident. And after that, a scholarship was set up to support a student who embodied her wonderful spirit. It's my honor to present this year's award to Meredith Haskell. Meredith is a great part of our dance department. She volunteers at the drop of a hat. She works at the Student Dance Council and also is a very, very good dancer. One of our top dancers, she's always used with a lot of choreographers. They all buy to use her, and she has a great sense of humor. She brings joy and energy into our lives, and so she truly deserves this award. Meredith, congratulations. And now we're going to show a brief video on all of our activities here in the dance department, what we've done this past year, our classes, rehearsals, and uh, hard work that we put in and I hope you enjoy it. It was put together by one of our students, Kaylin Coots, and she is quite talented, not only dancer, but as you can see, a videographer. Thank you.